on the red carpet at the Venice Film Festival. Italian jet setter Marina Cicogna is among stars like actress Emma Stone, actor Michael Keaton, and composer Alexandre Desplat, who is jury president at this year's event. Cicogna is in her element. I mean, the Venice Film Festival is my home. I grew up here. My grandfather invented this festival, and uh, so it's been all my life. So it doesn't, it doesn't evoke anything except the pleasure of being here again. She first experienced the Venice Lido as a child in the company of her grandfather, Giuseppe Volpi. It was back in the 1930s that the wealthy politician and businessman decided to stage a film festival around the Hotel Excelsior. He realized that there were a lot of actors from Hollywood that used to come here on vacation, and he would give a ball and everything, and then he, he heard about this new uh, success of this media called movies. So he went there where the pool, where the pool of the Excelsior was. They put uh, 50 chairs or something, brought down a screen there, and that's when they started the first film festival in 1932. Photographs of the festival remind Chaconia of her own youth. For example, how she first met the Italian acting legend Alberto Sordi. And he is coming into my cabin, and that's me here, here. This was my boyfriend at the time. Soon she was being photographed with the likes of directors Lucino Visconti, Federico Fellini, and actor Marcello Mostriani. In 1966, Ciaconia truly launched her career as a movie producer. The secret of producing is to find the right material and the right director and the right actors. And I was friends with them before I started producing with them, yes. I started producing with them, I was already friends. At the Venice Film Festival, Marina Ciccogna is swept up in a whirlwind of parties. There are plenty, and she's invited to them all. But they're nothing like the events she used to put on herself. She recalls one when she celebrated her Golden Lion win for producing the 1967 film Belle du Jour. The whole film world was there, from Elizabeth Taylor, Bert, and Jane Fonda, Vadim, uh, uh, Kathleen, and uh, the party was for three directors that I had that were showing their films here, Visconti, Binuel, and Pasolini. Jane was doing Barbarella, Elizabeth and Burton were doing a film, and, and you know, it was just happened at the time. I sent them little, small little Learjets, they came, and they, they spent the weekend on us, came with a boat. She always recorded such moments with her own camera and has published a book of her snapshots showing film stars out of the limelight. Audrey Hepburn and Yul Brynner sunbathing. Or Elizabeth Taylor having her hair done. You've got Maria Callas in a, in a bathing suit showing, uh, you know, showing off the, the boat of Onassis. You've got the Garbo on Onassis's boat, you know, doing gymnastics. I mean, you know, just pictures People, the only thing is, my pictures are not so great, uh, technically, but what they have is they have a life in them and, an, and a natural um, a spontaneity. Fashion designer Valentino, and top directors Bernardo Bertolucci, Pierpaolo Pasolini, and Federico Fellini. Ciccogna's photos offer an authentic insight into the Italian Dolce Vita of the 1960s. It was a special fluid of a time. Well, that's hard to tell, you know, you have, that's one of the reasons, you, you know, that's very visual. You, you have to see the photographs, you have to see the films that one made at that time. You know, um, it was a period when culture and beauty and uh, a lot of wonderful things, music, all that, were very important. Even at the age of 80, Marina Ciccogna still plays an active role at the Venice Film Festival. She's still driven by the desire to add a bit of glamour to the world of cinema.